Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today we will be analyzing Manchester United's new signing Bruno Fernandes. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that apparently YouTube disabled monetization on my channel, so I won't be earning revenue from the videos anymore. I'll be able to apply again after a month, but it may get denied again. However, I'll try to upload as much as I can, but it will be really difficult now. Yeah, and that's it, so let's get right into the video. After his arrival at the Old Trafford, Bruno Fernandes gained the love of every Manchester United fan. Bruno played 5 games in the Premier League so far, scored 2 goals and assisted 3. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer tried different formations during these games, but he mainly used the 3-5-2 and the 4-2-3-1. Bruno always played as the attacking midfielder. So what's so special about his playstyle that is actually saving Manchester United? I've made a list of the traits that we saw from him during these 5 games. So we will start analyzing each one individually. The ability to hold onto the ball and avoid rushing the attacks is very important. And that's what he does here, moving into space and then passing. Something I've mentioned in many previous videos, which is shoulder checking. As you can see here, he scanned the pitch while asking for the pass, so he got rid of the pressure applied. Again, shoulder checking. Once he knew that he isn't under pressure, he took the advantage from the space and then played the long pass for the counter-attack, creating more space for his teammate. This shoulder checking will allow you to take quick decision and deal with any kind of pressure if applied against you. You can see here how having his decision set already allowed him to set up the ball for the cross with his first touch. A great thing about his playstyle is his ability to control the rhythm. So, by sprinting into spaces and playing short passes, he can get the ball from the midfield to the penalty box. He also goes for a lot of long balls when the opposition is blocking all the passing lanes. While building the attack from the midfield, he concentrates on pulling the midfield and defensive lines of the opposition. Again, taking the advantage from the space behind the opposition who was applying the pressure. Holding onto the ball in the midfield allows United to get the best out of the passing forwards, Martial and Daniel James. <laughs> Off the ball movement adds a lot to any football player. When Bruno doesn't have the ball, he always tries to provide passing options to his teammates. He asks for a lot of passes, which shows the good chemistry between him and his teammates as he is new in the club. This can also go under the off the ball movement, he always tries to position himself outside the penalty area to provide the passing option and pull some defenders away from his teammates. This also allows him to get the advantage from any second balls. Of course, his great positional awareness can be seen from many clips, but I have chosen his goal against Everton. Notice how he keeps the ball moving while turning around and proceeds to shoot without taking any touch. Here's another example. You can see how he let the ball move through his legs to Martial, which then increased the pace of the counter-attack. He then followed that with the sprint to create another passing option. Bruno seems to use a lot of one-touch passes. It's basically the number one option to speed the attack. The key behind all these one-touch passes is the shoulder checking and the ability to scan the pitch while asking for the pass. I've already shown you examples about this, but I just wanted to show you how he can use this concept in many different situations, creating different outcomes. As you can see, Solskjaer allows him to roam freely. We will talk about this later, but anyway, you will see Bruno playing a lot of these passes between the midfield and the defensive lines. 
This saves a lot of time as it breaks the opposition's organization as the team gets inside the defensive block. Now, as the attack goes on, he runs into the space providing a dangerous passing option. As he doesn't have a fixed position, he is able to perform a lot of these runs. It's also quite hard for the opposition to mark him. Being in different positions allows him to try new stuff. Although he played mostly alongside Fred and McTominay, he performed his defensive responsibilities very well and showed high work rate. This is somehow related to the previous one, but I wanted to mention how he uses his great reading of the game in applying high pressure. As you can see, he predicts the passes before being made and starts the sprints early to reach the opposition once he receives the ball and force him to lose position. He also guides his teammates during the pressing, something you wouldn't really see from the newest signing in the team. Bruno became Manchester United's set pieces taker. It's obviously his thing. Nothing to analyze here, but just wanted to say that this quick free kick against Manchester City was performed in another match, but it didn't succeed, so they definitely trained on it. So we have seen some players shoot the penalties like that. Jorginho from Chelsea is one of them. Anyway, the idea of this style is waiting for the keeper to move first, then shooting the opposite way. With this little jump, he gives himself enough time to choose the direction. Anyway, this was it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.